Good morning, friends. Greetings. Welcome to Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you're dealing with a health challenge or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge and you want help with it, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We are here for you. We want to help you change your life today, help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today with simple health, common sense health strategies, including, of course, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially like hearing those. If you have questions about ingredients or formulations, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're interested in checking out the longevity products, you can head over to my blog, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories and blog posts. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website as well. We can do this together. We can help change the world together with nutrition, with nutritional supplements and ideas about nutritional supplementation, ideas about health. I can help you build your business. You can generate some funds, make some money, help change the world with nutritional supplementation and with health strategies. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And of course, you're interested, if you're interested in checking out our skin health products, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream, only the good stuff. No water, no wax, no filler, no preservative, no fragrance, no silicon, no emulsifier, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want because you shouldn't have to pay for any of that stuff, and it's not doing you any good anyway. This is why people get in the skincare business that don't know anything about the skin, because they can make a lot of money. It's not fair. If you're interested in, if you're the type of person that doesn't want to get ripped off, then you shouldn't be buying a standard skincare product. It's as simple as that. If you're the type of person that doesn't like being taken advantage of, then don't buy a standard skincare product because they're 90% baloney. They're more than that. They're 95 to 99% nothing. That's so nasty, folks. And I've been in the business now for 32 years, and I could never get my mind around the rudeness of the skincare business and skincare products. That's why, I, that's why I started my other company, and that's why I started The Truth, to tell the truth, to dispense the truth, to sell the truth. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So we are talking about... Well, we're talking about the ketogenic diet, steroid hormones, calming the body down, these basic ideas for health. I get letters like you wouldn't believe, folks. I'm talking hundreds of letters a month. This is a, from a guy named Randy. I'm a male, 5'10 and a half, 248 pounds. I was 5'11 about two years ago. Hmm. So he lost an inch in two years. Here are my health issues. I'm overweight. I got panic attacks, I've got anxiety, I got plaque buildup in my arteries, I got kidney stones, I got hypertension, eyesight wildly changes, vision clarity changes, history of claustrophobia, leg length discrepancy, but right leg shorter than the left. An MRI of my back has revealed the following, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but he's messed up there too. Past medical history, hyperlipidemia, messed up blood fats that is, GERD, that's heartburn, sinusitis, obstructive sleep apnea, migraine, essential hypertension. 
uh, epididymitis, which is a really unpleasant male condition, and kidney disease. Uh, look, what do you do if you're confronted with an issue like this? Pretend you're a healthcare professional and you're confronted with 50 different ways that the body's breaking down. What do you do? These are the kind of letters that we get. And this is the way we break down. We, our body just disintegrates, so it falls apart. I, I tell, when I'm doing my presentations, I tell people there's only one disease. My body is falling apart disease. Our bodies just decay, they deteriorate. So what do you do? You can't approach every single system individually, but you don't need to. And this is so important when it comes to health. If you guys are dealing with health challenges, multiple health challenges, they call it multiple organ failure. There's a technical name for it, actually. If your body's just falling apart in this generic, uh, systemic way, you got to simplify. We eliminate anything that's unnecessary from our lives, whether it's food or whether it's thoughts or whether it's lifestyle choices. Anything that's not required for us to stay alive needs to be eliminated first. This is why fasting is so important. It's like doing a restore on your computer, clearing the decks. When you fast, you clear the digestive decks. And this has an effect of calming the body down. There's a reason why the less we eat, the longer we live. Every single study that has ever been done on longevity shows that the less an animal eats, the longer the animal lives. There's a reason for that. Procuring food, digesting food, assimilating food, these all require energy. They all represent work. If we're serious about health, and there's nothing like cancer to get you serious about health, or a heart attack, or even acne, or psoriasis, you know, cosmetic, cosmetically unappealing conditions that may not be life-threatening, they're serious too. They can be psychologically de debilitating. Every time I see a kid who's got acne, it breaks my heart. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about garden variety, a pimple here and a pimple there, but serious breakouts. It's heartbreaking because it's so unnecessary as is heart attacks and cancer. They're not necessary. They're not the way it's supposed to be. If we're going to be serious about dealing with all this, we got to get serious about food and our calories. Calories are heat. Calories are work. And by the way, calories, yes, they're important, obviously. They represent energy, but they're only one half of the nutritional picture. They're the energy component of the nutritional picture. But pure energy has to be channeled into chemistry. Yes, energy is important, but the energy has to be directed into the chemical reactions that make collagen, or the chemical reactions that help us digest our food, or the chemical reactions that help our blood circulate. Yes, the, energy's in, the energy is important, but it has to be directed into the right chemistry, and that's the job of the second half of nutrition, which is the micronutrients. So you've got two halves of the nutritional picture. You've got the calorie half, and you've got the micronutrient half calorie half is the protein and the fats and the carbs. The micronutrient half is the mighty 90 essential nutrients. The mighty 90's job is to help the body channel and direct the calories that are being derived from the protein and the fats and the carbohydrates. That's pretty much as simple as it gets when it comes to nutrition. Without the micronutrients, without the mighty 90 essential nutrients, the energy components of the foods can't be used. The body has a bunch of energy it can't do anything with. Now, it has systems for dealing with that energy. One of those systems is called fat, and this is one of the major reasons why we're fat, if not the major reason why we're collectively obese, is because we're getting so many of these macronutrients, but the body doesn't know what, doesn't have the wherewithal to direct them appropriately, so the body just stashes them away. That's what the body is trained to do through millions of years of evolution. It's trained to take excess energy and stash it away for a rainy day. To make matters worse, we figured out how to industrially separate the energy components of food, the macronutrient components of food, the protein and the fats and the carbs from the micronutrients. And the vast majority of the foods we eat are foods that have been processed. And what that really means, when you come right down to it, is the macronutrients have been separated from the micronutrients. All right, hang on. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. Got lines open for you, 844-236-1610. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're talking about today or health in general or if you have a problem, child, workmate, family member, friend, 
or yourself if you're dealing with a health challenge you want help with it 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program you can buy them right off our websites criticalhealthnews.com brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com and if you'd like to check out our truth skin health products go to truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com okay got lines open by the way 844-236-6010 Calories represent work. This is why calorie restriction is such a powerful health strategy. It's why fasting is such a health, powerful health strategy. Under ordinary circumstances, when we're eating correctly, when we're eating whole foods, nature has provided us with the micronutrients to help us process the macronutrients. Processed foods do the opposite. Processed foods got lots of the macro, the, the protein and fats and carbs, mostly carbs and fats and not the micronutrients to manage them. Now, you can get foods where they do some fancy formulation and they try to get them similar, things like health bars, if such a thing existed. But in general, it's nature's, nature has the wisdom to balance macronutrients and micronutrients is nature. It's the divine force. It's the whole foods. Junk foods don't do it. That's what makes a junk food junk, is that it's got lots of the calories and not the micronutrients. We call, that, we call those calories empty calories. An empty calorie is a calorie that doesn't have the matching micronutrients. This is why it's so helpful to drink your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your meals, especially if you're subsisting on processed foods. The, the nutrients in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine will, will help it's not perfect, but it will help you assimilate and utilize the uh, the micronutrient, the macronutrients, the protein, fat, and carbs, the energy from your processed foods. Whole foods are always going to be best, though. I call the simplicity what I call the way I refer to the simplicity of health is as something the square of health. I call it the square of health. The square of health is NRMR: nutrient, respirate, move, and rest. We need nutrition. We need the mighty 90 nutrients. We do need proteins and fats and carbohydrates, of course. We also need to respirate. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. Breathing, respiration. And both are important. Both oxygen and carbon dioxide are important. You always want to exhale a little more than you inhale. We need to move. The human body generates electrical energy through movement. And we need to rest. That's when we heal and grow and repair and anti-age. We heal when we rest. Resting is not indulgent. We're trained to believe that resting is somehow lazy and indulgent. No, it's medicine. It's healing. Sitting on the couch is medicine. Taking a nap is medicine. That's when your blood pressure drops, when you take a nap. That's when your body secretes growth hormone, when you're sleeping, especially deep sleep. We've been talking about pregnenolone and DHEA and progesterone. One of, the, one of the best advantages of pregnenolone and DHEA, for that matter, which we haven't really talked a lot about yet, but we will, and progesterone is they help you sleep and they particularly help you go into deep sleep. Pregnenolone in particular has been shown to improve what's called delta wave deep sleep. That's the deepest, form, the deepest part of the sleep cycle. When we sleep, we, we sleep in cycles. Many of you guys have probably heard that there's sleep site, there, uh, there's uh, phases of sleep. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and when they, we cycle through them when we, take, when we go to sleep. If you wake up groggy, chances are you didn't go through the complete sleep cycle. In any case, one of the components of the sleep cycle is the deep sleep state. And pregnenolone, in particular, helps the body go into deep sleep, the, the, deep, uh, the deepest part of the sleep cycle. That's when growth hormone is secreted. That's when we're uh, making melatonin. That's when our, we're using melatonin. So you upregulate all of your good stuff when you rest. You upregulate all of the good stuff when you sleep. It's not indulgent. It's medicine. That's a square of health, NRMR. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. That's all we need for health. What we don't need is drugs. Unless we have some emergency, or perhaps in the short term, if our symptoms are super, super severe, it's not about medicine. Health is not about drugs. Health is not about the medical model. We've created this health system that's really a medical system. We have taken what works in terms of emergencies, that is suppressing the body's chemistry, and we've applied it to lifestyle issues. We've allowed doctors to play God by attempting to correct our behavior, our lifestyle choices, using drugs, and especially around food. 
to correct our bad choices with medicine. Somehow, we think it's logical to have our gallbladder removed than somehow to work with the digestive system. Not beating anybody up here, it's just how we're trained. We think it's logical to take an organ out if it's not performing correctly, or to take poisons if, it's, if our chemistry is not performing correctly. But if we're interested in being healthy, if we're interested in being restored back to health, none of this matters. We can gripe and, and moan and groan about the, the failures of the medical model, but it doesn't matter. The way to get healthy is to do the simple things, to simplify, because the body wants to be healthy. It's designed to be healthy under conditions of abundant nutritional resources, abundant oxygen, abundant safety. The body will adjust. I had somebody ask me the other day about eating. Uh, I forgot what he asked me about eating, but he, he wanted to know how come, uh, is it okay to drink alcohol? I think he asked me. And, and yes, it's, of course it's okay to drink alcohol. It's okay to eat anything you want to eat, but it's a question of how much you're doing because the body can handle small amounts of things, small amounts of toxicity, small amounts of stresses. The body can handle small amounts of burden. It's designed to do that. That's called homeostasis. Homeostasis is the natural adjustments thermostat style that the body does. It pulls the ups downs and it pulls the downs up, just like a thermostat. It detoxifies, it cleans itself. It naturally adjusts, it naturally heals. It's constantly scanning for problems. The body is constantly scanning for problems. You have cells in the blood that are constantly scanning for cancer, constantly looking for invaders. This is, this is the most amazing system that we have, this human body, but it needs to have certain basic building blocks, certain basic uh, components. It needs certain basic conditions, NRMR, nutrition, respiration, movement, and rest. What this means is that the real way to heal the body is to provide it with resources as well as safety and, uh, and uh, a non-threatening environment, and none of this requires a doctor. In fact, a doctor is a threat to the body. Yes, a doctor is a threat to the body, and this is why the third leading cause of death is doctors. Again, not beating anybody up here, just being logical. For the medical model to insert itself into our body's business is unfair, it's manipulative, it's self-serving, it enriches one class over another, it enriches the priestly class, just like in the Middle Ages, Systems were set up to enrich the priestly, priestly class. Today, the doctors are the priestly class, and we have a system that's set up to enrich them. And we don't get better. That's the bottom line here. We don't get better. We get sicker. The more doctors we have, the sicker we get. Witness the appalling state of our health, despite all of these self-appointed Dr. Oz's, self-appointed Dr. Guru representatives who proclaim themselves to be important and relevant themselves, self-elected, self-appointed. And it doesn't do us any good anyway. That's the problem. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got more to say, and we'll take your calls as well at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products or formulations or skin health questions, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, which we especially love hearing, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C and our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. No preservative, no fragrance, no water, no filler, no wax, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, and you're not paying for anything that's not making a difference on your skin and that's why when you use our truth skin health products you notice results quickly in one dose typically you'll notice you'll notice uh, improvement in your skin and over the course of the days and the weeks and the months skin will get dramatically more improved and that's why we're selling so many of these things so um, many of the retinols as well as the truth serum and the, and the truth balm and the omega-6 healing cream and I'm, the only advertising I'm doing is on this program and perhaps a little bit on my Facebook page truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com 844-236-6010 is our number we'll get your calls here in just a second a couple stories new stories I want to tell you about raising body temperature relieves depression symptoms this is from JAMA Psychiatry came out a couple days ago it turns out by raising the body temperature 
depressed patients can actually show a significant improvement in their symptoms, at least uh, according to this study. And that makes sense because raising the body temperature usually occurs when we move. Movement is important. I said rest is important. The body heals when it rests, but so is movement. You need a little movement and you need a lot of rest. Yes, that's the proportion. Little movement, lot of rest. Little stress, a lot of relaxation. That's how the body likes it. We don't want to be rested and relaxed all the time. You ever been stuck in bed when you're sick and you can't get out of bed? That's not a good thing. Nobody wants to be stuck in bed. You got to move. If you go to the hospital, now you have a surgical procedure. When, as soon as you're uh, awake, they want you walking around. They want you moving. When you move, you generate electrical energy. And the brain is a highly electrical organ, highly electrical system. So it makes sense that if you got depression issues, move your body, raise your body temperature, go out and exercise. Okay, I think we're back on here. Sorry about that little technical snafu. Tabitha, are you there? Yes, Tabitha? I'm here. Hi, hi. I'm sorry about that. We had a little internet oh, no glitch problem. there. Yeah. Apologize. What's going on? How can we help you? Yes. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Three things. I wanted to talk about the Bergamax. Uh. Uh. Doctor Ehrlich was talking about uh. Uh. Forty-five and over. He recommends that for forty-five and over. Uh. That's fine. But is there a reason like? You I'm having a really difficult time hearing you. Am I, are you a speaker? Tabitha? No. Okay, so I heard you say something about the Bergamax and Dr. Ehrlich, but I couldn't really make out what you were asking me. He uh, mentions, uh, he recommends people 45 and over. Okay. To use it. Okay. Uh, do you, and that's fine, but uh, is there a specific reason for that? Is there a specific reason, are you saying? Yes. Yes, uh, it, because people who are 45 or older tend to be in poorer health than people who are younger. The Bergamax is a, a flavonoid. It's not an essential nutrient. It's a flavonoid that's extremely helpful for certain health conditions, specifically blood sugar issues, cardiovascular issues, brain health issues, uh, liver. Uh, it really excels in when it comes to liver disease. And these are issues that tend to affect older people. Does that mean younger people won't benefit? No, of course, younger people will definitely benefit. In fact, that's the best way to do it is not wait till you're sick. But if you're sick, you especially will benefit. You'll notice results very quickly if you're sick. If you're healthy, you won't notice the results as dramatically, but if you're sick, you'll notice them very dramatically. And we've got all kinds of letters about the Bergamax. It's been out now for, I guess, now, I've been selling it for over a year, but it's been out for three or four years, and there's all kinds of incredible, not just letters and anecdotal literature, but there's also clinical uh, literature about it as well, particularly for the liver. Does that help? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. And Thank you. And also, um, you know, I wanted to update you about uh, success story. Like yeah. I called you about uh, eight weeks ago. And, um, you know, I, I did about 70% of what you told me to do, and I'm recovering. What so was I your condition? i let you know that, but I'll write to you. On Tabitha, what was your condition? Know. What were you dealing with? I was dealing with extreme uh, skin, uh, a dry skin, extreme, extreme dry hey, skin. Hey, can, can I get you to hang, hang on through the break? I, I want to get some more Absolutely. information. Yeah, hang on, Tabitha. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back with more good health information right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Tabitha in Texas, just uh, want you to finish up. You had dry skin issues, is that correct? Yes, I had a dry skin issue, and uh, you told me uh, several steps to take, and I did take those steps. Um, I got on probiotics, I mean, two foods. Um, I haven't got my longevity products yet. I, I really can't wait to get those. It, it was just a funding issue at this point, but... Um, but your dry yeah, skin's improved. Like 70% 70, 70 of what you told me to do. And yes, definitely, I feel better. Nice. And now you did, these are internal strategies, not moisturizing creams, correct? No, 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 internal. Good for internal you. Strategies. Good for you. Good for you. Spread the word. Help to, uh, pay it forward. Tell everybody about the power of good oh, nutrition. absolutely. I send people to your show all the time. Awesome, Tabitha. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for the call. Have a beautiful day. Yes, I sir. appreciate it. Okay, take care. All right, uh, Stephen in Pennsylvania, what's going on, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Stephen, 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 are you there? Seem to be having some phone problems here for some reason. Stephen, are you there? Okay, no Stephen. Let's see. Let's go to Brenda in Texas. Brenda? Yes. Hi, Brenda, what's going on? Well, um, 
I've talked to you before about that I have celiac issues. And okay. for two years, I've been gluten-free. And for 10 months, we've been, um, you know, none of the, on the no bad foods and doing the longevity products, the Healthy Start Pack plus the digestive stuff and all. But then these last few days, I I was doing pretty good, but it's like I've had a flare up and then started having right. like UTI and stuff. And all right. I got that checked and I've got a bad UTI. Okay. And it's like I'm just, you know, my small intestine and into my back where my kidney is, is just so painful. And well, here's I, the deal. Here's the deal. We got a food problem, Brenda. Okay. Food and digestion, but it starts with food. So what you got to do is you got to isolate the problem foods. I would recommend you get on a Swero V cleanse. Are you doing longevity products? Yes, and I okay. just got the Mackey Plus yesterday. And, and Forget started. the Mackey Plus uh-huh. for now. Got that. Forget the Mackey Plus oh, for now. I'm going to tell you, Brenda, I'm going to tell you what to do. I don't know if you heard me talking earlier in the program. We talked about simplification. We want to simplify, all right? The first thing you need to do is get to the bottom of your digestive issues. You need to do a Swero V cleanse. And that's where you don't eat for two days or three days, and you just do a bottle of Swero V or half a bottle of Swero V every hour. Okay? You do that for two or three days. That clears the decks. That, that, that st- uh, it's like hitting the restore button or the reset button. You follow me, Brenda? Uh-huh. This is an extremely important move for you. This is not something that you want to play around with at this point. If, you're, if you've been dealing with this for a long time, you sound like you're in your 50s or 60s at least. So uh-huh. you don't have time to mess around here, Okay. Okay. The, the the prognosis for people who have celiac disease and digestive issues like yours into their fourth and fifth decade is not good. So this is very serious. So you do a swear of cleanse, and then when you start eating again, you start eating single foods, not complicated foods, and you start with your favorite types of meal, t- favorite types of foods. You know what I mean by single foods? Like not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just peanuts. Not a not a chicken salad sandwich, just a piece of chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or like just carrots or just... Uh, One kind of vegetable, exactly. Exactly. We're trying to isolate your problems. And then you're going to be eliminating those foods. The less you eat, the better off you're going to be. Do not eat for social reasons. Do not eat for snacking reasons. Do not eat for pleasure reasons. You're past that point. You don't get to do that anymore if you're, more, if you're serious. Now, I know it sounds harsh, but mm-hmm. the good news is, is your celiac will go away. Mm-hmm. Now, people will blame gluten, and gluten is certainly a problem, but there's many other things so that you can't just do it by eliminating gluten. Does that make sense, Brenda? Uh-huh. You have to eliminate everything. At the same time, you want to get on a really good probiotic supplement. Now, you said you're doing one already, right? Right. Are you already, I, I've you done on? the Nightly Essence and the Flora FX and stuff. What, what do you mean I've done? I've done. I, you don't, well, these last few months, I have been on those. Okay. I, so I'm out of the Nightly Essence right now. Stay on the Nightly Essence. What was probably happening is you were probably assaulting your body with the food. So the probiotics are not magic pills. They'll restore the integrity in the, uh, of the intestinal environment. But as long as there's this assault that's coming in through foods, they can't do much. So you've got to work on the food issue. But in conjunction with that, you're going to do the probiotics. Make best friends with chicken soup, bone soup. Okay. Will you make it yourself? That should be the. I've ma- done that. Quite no, no, I, I'm doing it. Not I've yeah. done. Done is past. I'm right. doing. Well, yeah, I've d- I hadn't done it in the last three weeks, but I had done. Okay, it good. Keep doing it. That should be your main source of nutrition. Okay. In conjunction with vegetable juices, between vegetable juices and bone soup, that should be your main source of nutrition. Use your ultimate EFAs to get fat. If you still crave fatty foods, use coconut oil and butter. Make sure you're using lots of salt too. Yeah. All right? And then, and then stay on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. I would also throw in the Fucoid Z, nine capsules a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Mm-hmm. Sip on your BTT, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. If you do everything I just told you, mm-hmm. you there's no way you're not going to improve, particularly if you eliminate the problem foods. Will you stay in touch with us? Uh-huh. Uh, and and I can't do that uh, survey cleanse. You know, it would take me a few days to get that. Okay. So okay. in the meantime, should I just fasting? I do the chicken broth. Or yeah, that you can do chicken broth, or you can even do a fast. But yeah, you could do a chicken broth. Absolutely. Yeah. But homemade, Brenda, not mm-hmm. the real deal. Not not you know canned stuff. Right. Right. Okay. On that. Okay. And the nightly essence. How many do you? Recommend? Nine a day. Three in the morning. Three in the afternoon. Three at night. Okay. Yeah, okay. And the vegetable juices. Do you like sauerkraut? 
Not really, but uh, I tolerate it. <laughs> well, learn to like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing you. I'm, I'm teasing. Yeah. Find a fermented food that you like. If you could do kefir yogurt, you may not be able to do those, but if you can, those can be helpful. Miso soup, also kimchi. Fermented food can be a uh, acquired taste, shall we say, but it's a good yeah. one. It's a good one because it can help restore some of the some of the intestinal integrity. And by the way, a UTI has a lot to do with a bacteria called H. pylori. Mm-hmm. Also, other bacteria too, E. coli and such, and it has a lot to do with the digestive tract. U- urinary tract infections have a uh, there's a major relationship between UTIs and the digestive tract. So yeah. once we take care of that, the UTIs will start to go away too. You, yeah. Hopefully, you can completely eliminate UTIs. Yeah. Same same for folks who have this condition called interstitial cystitis, which is like uh-huh. a uh, have you heard of this interstitial yeah, yeah. cystitis? Yeah, that's a mega UTI. That's like a UTI on steroids. Again, you want to focus on the digestive system. Brenda, I got to motivate here. I got okay. a couple more calls I want to get Thank to. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. God bless. Good luck. All right, Stephen in Pennsylvania, what's going on? Uh, I got a couple questions from previous shows that I wasn't able to get on. I'll just mention them. And you could maybe take care of them later. But oh, one thing the lady just you were saying about the. Uh, um, uh, e. pylori, what uh, uh, I believe what the NOx uh, controls that, and I was going to say NOx it out, is the zinc. Somehow. Zinc has a huge role to play, absolutely. That's a good point. Yeah, also, they, stomach acid is very important, making sure you're acidifying the contents of the stomach. But, but zinc is zinc's an awesome, awesome, awesome mineral. One yeah, of the most... That for all kinds of animals. All kinds of things. For, all kinds of things. For making stomach acid, for the immune system, for growth, for making uh, steroid hormones. I mean, it's just phenomenally important. It costs you a penny a day or yeah, a nickel a day. Some other important things here. i got like five points that I want to make here. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, one that we're not going to get to, but it was, you were talking about uh, stress. You get in a whirlpool bath and relax. And yes. Get massages. Not everybody can do massages and get in a whirlpool bath. Well, <laughs> Hot tub, hot, hot yeah, bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get in a hot tub uh, in, when you're in the middle of work and you're uh, under stress. Throw hot water, water on your face. Hands. Hang on, Stephen. Throw hot water on your face or use a hot washcloth on your eyes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, but I was wondering what to help the adrenals. And uh, But uh, that's not my, my, my main point. Maybe you could address that some other time. That's from a past show. Uh, cholesterol fatty foods. What about high fat? Uh, uh, the, the ketogenic diet, uh-huh. and uh, can you eat, let's say, a quarter stick of uh, butter? Butter so straight? Vegetable. You know, I addressed that. Yeah, that's a good point. Good question. I addressed that yesterday because I was, or a couple days ago, because I, w- I was concerned that people would get the idea that you just want to eat a half a stick of butter, like you're saying, and that's not the case. You, when we talk about high fat, this is very important, Stephen. Check this out, buddy. I know you're going to get this, okay? When we talk about high fat, we mean relatively speaking. Oh. By high fat, we mean compared to the rest of your calories. So high percentage of fat is is a more accurate way of saying it. You know, follow me? So you don't want a lot of calories, but of those calories, a high percentage should come from fat. So say the average American gets about 2,500, or I think about 4,000 calories a day. They recommend maybe 2,000 calories a day. Uh, uh, I'm saying get 1,500 or 1,000 calories a day. 75% is in, in fat. Yes. You know, and I heard a doctor, I forgot what his name was, he used to say, Go for the fatty meat. The fattier, the better. That the, the low, the more. Yeah, but fat. there's a problem with that too, and that's when fats are cooked, especially at high temperature, like you're cooking meat. You can create some toxic compounds out of the fat. So I'm not sure I'd buy that either, Steve. Well, I'm not talking I, about burnt, burnt meat. I, I'm, even, if, even, if, even. If, even any kind of high heat. But, Steve, i got to go, man. I'd love to talk to you. Call, call tomorrow. We'll finish up the conversation. And if you're on hold, I apologize if we left you on hold. We had a little Internet glitch, and I didn't get to everybody today. I uh, apologize for that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a spectacular, awesome, beautiful day. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com or our longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com and brightsideben.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.